Hey, top analyze math and history, and we're going to be taking a look at how to solve lines that are required by intersecting the point on a graph and trying to find a slope that is parallel or perpendicular to that slope. So, in the past video, we have been taking a look at y equals mx plus b. We have also been taking a look at parallel and perpendicular lines. So, we're going to be solving them and seeing what the slope is when we have a point go through it. Here is our first example. Try to find a line that's in slope intercept form if a parallel line is through points 4 comma negative 1 and y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 0. So what we don't want to do is copy down this slope intercept answer right here because it's not touching the line. It's supposed to be parallel to the line. So we're going to be using the point M, this slope intercept equation, to try to make a new slope intercept equation. That will become a parallel line. So in order to do this, we're going to have to use a special formula called point slope form, or y minus our first y of the point equals our slope in the distributive property multiplied by x minus that by our first x of the point in parentheses. So what the main idea and the main goal of a point slope form is to turn it into a new slope intercept form which will be parallel to our y equals negative 3x plus 0. So, let's insert the information into the formula. So, we have y minus y1. We're going to write y because we want in slope intercept form. Minus y1, we're going to put our first y, which is negative 1. So since it's a negative 1, we put 1 right here, but you have the parts to make it into a positive symbol, because a negative minus that by negative is now turned into a positive symbol. It's going to equal our slope is negative 3 over 4x. So we're going to put negative 3 over 4 in parentheses x minus that our first x, which is the number 4. Because this is x, that is y in a point. So we're going to put 4 right here and a parentheses. So this is what it should look like when you put your information into the formula. When we do the math and simplify this equation, we're going to get our new slope intercept form, and we're going to get an equation that looks like this, but should be parallel to y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 0. And it also must go through the line for negative 1. So, what we got to do here is the distributive property. So, negative 3 over 4 multiplied by x, and negative 3 over 4 multiplied by negative 4. So, when we do that, we got negative 3 over 4 x and negative 3 over 4 multiplied by negative 4, we know it will become a positive because a negative times a negative is a positive. So, when we do that, we get positive 3. And now we move the equation y plus 1 is going to equal negative 3 over 4x plus 3. We subtract that by 1 and subtract this by 1, so we can get our slope-intercept form. So when we do that, we get an answer as y is going to equal negative 3 over 4x plus 2. So this is our new slope. Not only that it's going to be parallel 
with y equals negative 3 over 4 x plus 0, but it also strikes through the line 4 comma negative 1. So, we have solved this problem. Our answer can briefly describe that parallel lines have the same slopes, but have different y-intercepts. These will start at different positions, but will also be parallel because they're the same slope. Here's an example of parallel lines on a graph. And here is an example of parallel lines in real life. That was an awesome clip when Spongebob and Patrick and Squidward were riding the train and the subway doors acted like parallel lines. So let's move on to our next problem. But this time, it's a perpendicular line. Through points 0, comma, negative 4 and y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 1. What is the new y equals mx plus b equation? In order to solve this problem, we're going to use the point slope form again. Or y minus y1 is going to equal our slope in the distributed property x minus x1. So, with the information above in the word problem, we have the point 0, comma, negative 4. So we're going to put that in the slope, point slope form. So we have y minus our first y is negative 4. So y minus minus 4 will become a plus 4. And that's going to equal our slope. This is where we have to take precautionary measures. Because it's a perpendicular line through point 0, comma, negative 4. If we take this precautionary measure after we find our new slope intercept form, then the line that will become our answer, will no longer strike through the point 0, comma, negative 4. In order to do that, we're going to have to do something that's called the opposite reciprocal. The opposite reciprocal can actually help find what the perpendicular line is for a slope. So pretty much, we're going to find the opposite reciprocal of that, because we're trying to find a slope and a line that is perpendicular to this line and also strikes through 0, comma, negative 4. Here's an example. What happens if we have the opposite reciprocal of 2? There are three steps to finding the opposite reciprocal. If it's not a fraction, we turn it into a fraction. Step number 2, we're going to put it in the reciprocal form. So we're going to turn it to 1 over 2. This relates to when you're dividing fractions. Because if you do 3 over 4, divide that by 2 over 5, the reciprocal of that is going to be 3 over 4 multiplied by 5 over 2. Because division and multiplication are actually the opposite. When you're trying to find lines that are perpendicular to each other, but have the same slope in a way, you're trying to find the opposite slope-intercept form. So what's the opposite of 2 over 1? Since it's a positive number, we have to turn it into a negative number. So the opposite reciprocal of 2 is going to be negative 1 over 2. Let's see that on a graph. So, when the graph showed up in the last clip, 
the two lines were actually perpendicular to each other because we found the opposite reciprocal of the other slope. Let's try doing that and try to find the opposite reciprocal of negative 3 over 2. So, it's already a fraction, so step 1 is already complete. Negative 3 over 2. Then, we're going to have to flip-flop the numbers. So, the 3 is going to be at the bottom, and the 2 at the top, because it's the reciprocal. And since it's a negative number, we must turn it into a positive number. And bam! There we go. Positive 2 over 3 is our new slope. And since we have that, we're going to put that in our point slope form and continue the math. So m represents our slope, or we just found out, 2 over 3. And we're going to have the distributive property of x minus that our first x is 0. So when we have 0 and close the parentheses, this is what the equation should look like when you insert your information into the point slope form. In order to get to a perpendicular line that is a new slope intercept form, then we're going to have 2 over 3 multiply that by x, and 2 over 3 multiply that by negative 0. And when you do that, you get 2 over 3x minus that by 0. Because anything multiplied by 0 is absolutely 0. Then we have y plus 4 is going to equal 2 over 3 or 2 thirds x minus 0. That 4 has to move because we want that y isolated. So we can easily get y equals mx plus b. So, when we subtract that by 4, and subtract this side by 4, we're going to get an answer as y is going to equal 2 over 3 as our slope minus that by 4. And that new slope intercept form that we just did is also going to strike through the point 0 comma negative 4. So we made a perpendicular line that goes with y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 1 and is strikes to the point 0 comma negative 4. The graph proves that our answer works because the line strikes through 0, comma, negative 4 and is perpendicular to y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 1. Just a friendly reminder, perpendicular lines will only be known if the two lines intersect and they are 90 degrees from each other, just like a cross. Here's an example in real life. That is a great example of perpendicular lines. The bar is on fire. So, if you ever try doing these kind of problems at your school, always remember to find the opposite reciprocal first, then do point-slope form. Because if you do point-slope first, then opposite reciprocal second, then you will get a perpendicular line, but it will not strike through 0, comma, negative 4. So we have finally solved this problem. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you for watching Tower Penalized Math Industry. Like and subscribe.